Hi everyone, um, this is me back again. Um, I'm going to go and uh, try and carry on questing now. I've been busy all day um, checking out additional mods, so I've loaded some more mods into the game. Um, and it seems to be working fine, I just want to uh, double check everything, uh, which I'll do during the course of this playthrough. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Yeah, so would I, mate. I also wanted to... Um, I've also been chatting on the forums, Steam forums today, because I'm not terribly happy with the situation I'm in in this game quest-wise. I mean, visually this game is stunning, but the quest and plot lines leave a lot to, do, to be desired. So this this playthrough has a sort of a, a bit of a hidden agenda about it, in that I'm probably going to be moaning a bit. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Oh look, there's, there's the elf. Let's have a look. See, so I've loaded some uh, hair mods and um, facial mods. Here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. So I'm quite keen to have a look. See, I guess his hair is you and me. We're the improved. Only what he's got of it. <clears throat> Maybe you've already and I'm just going to inspect the, the back of uh, Lucan's head. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general Light in here is not very good. Yeah, I think. I think the hair texture is better than it was before. I'm a little bit worried about um, Lydia though. One thing I wanted to avoid as I was improving the NPC um, complexions and things was creating the appearance that they're wearing makeup. And unfortunately, Lydia looks like she's wearing makeup, which is not what I wanted to achieve. But. I'll leave it as it is now, for now. If only Camilla shared my affections, or even knew about them. Right, and this I raises one of the issues I've, I've been though. talking about on the forum. Very early in this game, you get this quest to assist um, Sven or Fandal win the affections of Camilla. And to be honest, the pair of us are assholes. I have no interest in persuading Camilla to share the affections of either of them, but I'm stuck. I'm stuck with this quest where I have to make a choice between the two. And I don't want to make the choice between either. And why should I? I, I should be able to go like to Camilla and tell her, look, these two guys, yards. they're both not yeah. worth your time. Ignore them both. I know some of it. And somebody yes. on the forum said, oh yeah, but uh, you can always marry her yourself. Well, well, I don't need to marry her to warn her off. You know, why should I marry her? Or why should my character marry her? Just to save her from a fate worse than death. It's ridiculous. So, not very happy about that. Um, and so I'm carrying around this quest, which I'm never going to complete. Just gonna sell off some of this. This is an issue I've got with my PC. Sorry, guys. Right, sorry about that guys, um, I have an issue with my PC, 
and had no idea what what's causing it. I've had it literally since my son built this PC for me, which is over two years ago. And basically, river was agreeable enough, I suppose, for our village. Basically, what happens is that for no apparent reason it minimizes the desktop and it doesn't matter what I'm doing uh, I can be playing any sort of game it doesn't really make any difference it's not a Skyrim problem um, and I can even be working on Microsoft Office and suddenly it minimizes to desktop and usually it's just trivial and I sort of do it instinctively now I just click on it and it opens up again no problem but obviously if you've played Skyrim you know that if Skyrim minimizes to desktop and then you flip back you get all these sorts of problems with the mouse pointer um, becoming desynced with 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 your mouse and everything um, so it's not a trivial issue when it happens in Skyrim and it just happened then as I was talking to Luke and, and I don't know what's causing it if anyone has any clues I'd be interested to know I've sort of gone through the whole um, gambit of perhaps it's Windows trying to notify me of something happening or you know a Windows message being received I've noticed um, for instance that uh, often when it does that Steam is actually downloading something an update but I'm not convinced that's the problem it's just I think it might just be a coincidence um, and as I say it's not a Skyrim problem or a mod problem or anything like that it's just my PC and I don't know it's just irritating um, but it's going to be a feature I think of any of these videos that um, get lengthy because obviously the longer so I play the more likely it is to needs. happen the Riverwood Trader is back to the way so to be. what I was doing um, I was chatting to to Luke and wasn't I was offloading some of my rubbish that I've collected so uh, oh, I do this all the while I don't know if you do I, I go to sell some stuff to a trader and I forget to switch and I'm looking at what he's selling and if I'm not careful I actually buy stuff instead of selling it it's really annoying um, okay so I want to get rid of those black mage robes they're not worth much get rid of the boots I use the novice robes as sort of town wear when I'm out and about so I won't sell those I'll keep those in my inventory as you can see my inventory is not trivial I'm carrying quite a bit of weight but I'm wearing heavy armor as well so that get rid of that okay um, and I think that's about it I'm going to have to live with the rest I think okay so that's that's the trading next time. sorted if only Camilla shared my affections yes and then that brings me back to the point that I was ranting on about before before we were so rudely interrupted by my screen minimizing so there's that there's that um, quest which I'm not happy about um, I really think you know a little bit more imagination should have been putting and I should have been or my character should have been given the option to warn um, Camilla that she's making a big mistake with both of these guys and she should uh, hold out for something better basically though not necessarily my character right. but that's not the only quest that's got that problem I'm currently doing um, Innocence Lost uh, and I'll just show you Innocence Lost because I was meant to do that in the, I'm currently doing Innocence Lost now this is this is the quest that you get from a young boy in Whiterun who has escaped from an orphanage in Riften and has a huge grudge 
on the woman that runs the orphanage called Grelog the Kind. And this is all a bit dodgy because reading between the lines it sounds to me like he's been around killing people in uh, in Windhelm. Sorry, did I say White Run earlier? It's Windhelm that he lived. Um, because he, he's, he's got like body parts that he's um, arranging on the floor to do the dark ritual to summon a, uh, an assassin of the Dark Brotherhood with the intention of then contracting that assassin to kill Grelod. Um, and obviously, oh, huge spoilers here, so don't listen to this if you haven't done the question, don't want to know about it. But anyway, he's got this ritual laid out on the floor, and I, I actually um, broke into the house, discovered him in the middle of doing it, or towards the end of doing this ritual, and he assumed I was the, the assassin that he was trying to to summon. So he gives me this contract to kill Grelod the Kind. Now, he's obviously committed murder already, so he's not exactly whiter than white. And um, basically, I'm, I'm faced with this situation of, do I do what he says and I kill this woman? Um, which makes me a murderer. Um, or do I, I don't know, kill him, I suppose? I don't know what, what the alternative is. I mean, it, it sounds to me like he's already gone well off the rails of, sort of what's acceptable fate behaviour for a seven year old um, and should I be sort of the instrument of his uh, revenge and there doesn't seem to be any alternative I mean I went, went and looked at this quest yesterday and uh, rummaged around for options and they don't doesn't see it, it it seems to be a black and white killer or don't kill her end of story um, and if I don't kill her then the quest's gonna sit in in my quest log I assume forevermore just like the Sven quest and sort of extending that generally beyond I mean this whole business of do I join the Imperial Legion? Do I join the Stormcloak Rebellion? Do I become a companion? Why would I want to do any of that? I, I, you know, I, I just don't. It really isn't floating my boat at all at the moment. Oh, what's this? A dead wolf. Why, why is there a dead wolf? I didn't kill a wolf. This is one of the intriguing things. I know a lot of people, I've watched other people's play through videos, and, and I know a lot of other people do fast travel between places. But, um. Oh, yeah, look, free wolf pelt. Um, but I prefer to actually ride back and forth, <laughs> which is going to be really boring for you guys, because you keep running into these odd things which are very intriguing like um, dead giants and uh, whatever that you haven't killed but they're dead so obviously something or someone is going around killing stuff when you're not around perhaps when you've got the PC switched off I don't know um, I'm gonna use my bury the dead spell on this wolf because I don't like leaving the place unlight and tidy there he goes gets a little gravestone as, as as we're galloping around, you'll notice all these little gravestones alongside the road where I've been tidying up behind um, people. Come on, Lydia, hurry up. Right, hold on. Um, yeah, so I tend to ride backwards and forwards, uh, which, as I say, might be a bit boring for you guys, but sorry. But there's, there's one I, oh, three I buried earlier, there you go. Um, but I just find this probably the, the more enjoyable aspect of the game is that I keep running into these little cameos that I'm not expecting. Um, which are actually more interesting than the main plot lines, to be honest. Is 
it's a lovely day today. Look at the sun. Came up here the other, uh, I think it was yesterday I came up here. Oh, pouring rain. I've got climates of Tamriel running and literally miserable weather. Miserable, miserable weather. Sorry, I thought there was something interesting there, but it wasn't. This horse I'm riding, I actually bought this horse in normal way um, from Rifton Stables. But uh, that person there, I mean, that's quite funny. Well, the first few times I rode past this point, she attacked me and chased me down the road, and I just ignored her. And uh, I've noticed that recently she's just taken to cooking and ignoring me. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Have I done something to placate her or something, like or her faction or something? I'm not even sure who she is because I've never spoken to her. Um, yeah, so I bought this horse from Rifton Stables, but the original horse I got, which looked exactly the same, which is why I had to go all the way to Rifton to buy this one, so it looked the same, was uh, a horse that I found um, just standing by the road next to a dead bandit. And uh, I was able to sneak up on it and uh, mount it and ride it around and uh, explored a lot of the map on that horse. Um, and I downloaded a mod called Horse Whistle, which meant that it actually came back to me. So I didn't, it wandered off. Every time I got off it, it used to wander off. But um, then it would come back when I used this Horse Whistle mod. So it was like having a horse from sort of, I think it was level four or something. When I certainly didn't have the have the money to buy one. Um, but it was getting a bit of a pain and I wanted to use convenient horses as well, which obviously it wasn't compatible with. So I went and bought a proper horse, but made it look exactly like the horse that I'd um, captured or found, not captured. I didn't actually do anything to Sorry, I'm just checking that I'm on the right road. Um, but the other thing, yeah. The other thing I try not to do is use the map too much. Um, so, yeah, so as far as role playing is concerned, this is the horse that I found from the bandit. So if I start sort of, if I start sort of rambling on about the fact that I caught this horse, or rescued this horse from a dead bandit, then ignore me because I didn't really do that it's a horse I bought in Rifton but I'm pretending it's the same one that I rescued from the bandit because I did keep that horse until I bought this one so it's a direct replacement probably all yawning by now but never mind this is the price you pay for oh man what's going on here it's the price you pay for watching my videos to put up with my rambling now, there we go. That looks like an Imperial patrol with a prisoner. And that's one of the reasons I don't want to be an Imperial. They seem to be going around arresting everybody. And I've already nearly had my head chopped off by the people. These nasty, arrogant people. And I don't want to be a part of their little... Uh, Exclusive club, thank you very much. Um, road sign, Rifton. I noticed there's a mod to make these signs more legible, but I don't really have that much trouble reading them. So, are you tired again? I've noticed Lydia, she yawns all the while. I don't know if it's because I haven't built a proper house yet and therefore she hasn't got a bedroom. But uh, she seems to be permanently tired. Always really. Oh no. Looks like the weather's on the turn. Yeah, so back to what I was talking about before. Yeah, I, I tend to ride around everywhere doing things the hard way and the boring way, probably. Make sure I 
simply because you never know what's going to happen as you go along the road. And I still have this hope that these encounters are not just sort of random encounters, let's throw an assassin in, or whatever, but they, that there is some sort of link to my character's overall activity in the game. I haven't seen any evidence of that yet, I have to say. Um, Rifton, go right. Skeevers, don't like those. Yeah, so I've, I've killed two assassins already as I've been riding around um, that had notes on them from Astrid, who I understand is the head of the Dark Brotherhood, um, confirming that somebody who remains nameless has taken out a contract on my life. I'm scratching my head to think who it is that I've annoyed enough to actually want to pay money to see me dead but apparently somebody has oh come on sheep or goats or whatever you are get out of the way So anyway, this morning I've been downloading mods to try and improve the look of the NPCs. I did have a quick check of the NPCs in Riverwood before I left and they did look somewhat better. The hair was better textured. Um, faces were a bit less muddy. I think the default faces, I mean, I'm quite happy with the fact that NPCs are going to have dirt on them. Hello, what's this? Who's this guy? You look weary. I have something to help you relax. If you're interested. Mm. What you got? The finest skooma. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of oh, course. Oh, it's a drug dealer. Ah, um, oh, a snitch, huh? Can't have you running to any guards now. Can't. Never should have come here. <laughs> Go on, deal with him. I don't know. Well, that was unfortunate. For him, or her, was it a her? I don't know, it's difficult to tell. Oh dear. Well, I mean, that's a case in point. I gave them, I did, I was thinking of trying to uh, just punch him, but, uh, oh, what the hell. Okay, or her, it is a her, isn't it? Female drug gate dealer. Iron boots. Hmm. Sleeping tree sap. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well. try and justify that they were a drug dealer but they attacked me I wouldn't have bothered with them normally but they attacked me so and 
basically Lydia was going to kill them anyway, if, even if I didn't. sitting over there. What's this about? I never even noticed this person. I rode right past Please him the first time. I can pay you. What's happened? Bandits attacked and ransacked my car. Can you help me? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely and you'll be rewarded. Oh, gold. Okay, it's an escort quest. Right. Come on, then. Let's hope he's not one of these idiot NPCs that insist on committing suicide. Come on, then. Okay, right. Um, that was a mess, I have to say. <laughs> I completely lost the plot there. And I think I whacked Lydia. Are you alright? Sorry about that. Dear, oh dear. Are you alright? Oh, look, she's covered in blood. Oh, poor thing. Um, did the guy survive or did we kill him? No, look, he died. Oh well. <sighs> I'm not even going to try and defend that. That was complete rubbish, I have to say. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting that to happen. I thought, because it said, he's here, he's arrived. I thought, oh, that was easy. I was just sort of relaxing and suddenly all hell broke loose. Um, Right, so I'm going to bury him. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh. And uh, yeah, so I wasn't ready. Liddy was quicker off the mark than I was, as, as always. Um, and then when I did suddenly realise what was going on, I sort of saw this person in front of me whacking what I thought was the person I was meant to be protecting. And gave her a good clout on the head with my war axe, which is really not a good idea. Not happy with that at all. But uh, this is why my this is why my sons call me the noob. Oh, for goodness sake! All right, come on. I want to carry carry you out the way. I'm not going to bury you in the middle of the road. Oh, Lydia. I know you're a little bit, got a bit of a headache now, but, um... Bury the bandit. Right. And there was another one somewhere, which I actually killed legitimately. Yay! She was down here somewhere, wasn't she? Oh, there she is. Garnet, five gold, high braces, iron shield, iron war axe, lockpick, studded armour, thick headset. Right. 
So I think I think that's what my sons would refer to as an epic fail. I can probably bury bury her right here. It's quite a nice spot actually. Under the trees. Even bandits deserve to be buried. Yes, as I say, <coughs> they often refer to me as the uh, as the noob dids, and it's precisely because of that sort of massive cock up that just occurred. Um, I'm just going to. I suppose the only positive thing about it is that having uh, having failed the quest. I now get the opportunity to loot this guy's camp, which I wouldn't normally have done if he'd survived. So I get some carrots and green apples and all sorts of other stuff. Um, seared slaughterfish. Oh, yummy! That's very picturesque. What, why have I, I wonder why the horses went over there. They're sort of um, deliberately making the place look tidy. Normally they stand in, in the middle of uh, what they're trying to do, get in the way. Oh, look, a chest. And it's not locked. And they've got an amethyst in it, 34 gold. Nice. Interesting, right, okay. Often ponder on the ethics of this. I mean, I'm, I'm basically taking another man's stuff. Um, it's not mine, but he's dead. So, is it stealing? Um, certainly, by modern terms, it would be stealing, wouldn't it? Because um, presumably he might have a wife or a daughter or son or something that ought to inherit all this. Twelve gold. Um, but uh, I'm quite happily taking it all and uh, no one's going to know because they're all dead. Right, are you alright Lydia? Oh, the blood's gone anyway, so hopefully that means you've healed. I'm not really sure how to tell whether Lydia's healthy or not. Right, well that was that episode over and done with. Um, and again, you know, if I'd fast travelled I would have avoided all that. Or missed it perhaps would be an approach. Or, oh, hang on a minute. I thought I'd already buried this guy. Was there three of them? Okay. There must have been three of them. See, it just shows how much I was paying attention. <laughs> Bury him up here near his mate. Did I just hear voices? I think I did just hear voices. Is there something up here? What's this then?
sure I heard somebody talking. See anybody? Just bow out because it's probably better to use a bow. See any, oh, there's a, there's a tower. I'll go back to the hammer again. I'm going to go into the tower in case they're just inside the door. Time to end this little game. <laughs> Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. Okay, I'm glad you love a good fight, because you got one. Oops. Okay, end video. <laughs>